Time right now is 647. I'm meteorologist Quaylen Murphy. It's a cloudy start to the day compared to yesterday. We did have some sunshine out the door. We're seeing some changing conditions gradually. You'll notice that first with that fog potential temperature still on the lower side. So enjoy that along with the lower humidities. Here's that live look over the lakeway and you can see the sun slowly filtering it through those clouds, but still a pretty opaque setup in the skies today. Limited rainfall chances right around 20%. Here's that summer camp forecast, mostly cloudy through nine o'clock spotty shower temperatures upper 70s by noon today 84 degrees heat index values only upper 80s and same goes for four o'clock 84 degrees with the heat index still making it only feel like the mid to upper 80s uh, temperatures staying in the 80s today and for much of this week and we're right now only looking at five days of temperatures of 90 plus for the month of june our hottest was june 19th where we reached 92 degrees i think we'll finish out the month with temperatures mainly in the 80s 77 at the airport now our winds are calm our dew points middle 70s so still a little humid out there for some of us, mainly on the South Shore, mid to upper 70s right now with those temperatures. 77 for Audubon Park, North Shore. We still have some 60s here from Kentwood to Franklin, 10 upper 60s, 69 for Poplarville. I mentioned that fog becoming a little more dense around Bell Chase, down to two miles, seven for Galliano for Homa. Those winds are calm for most of us. They'll pick up a little bit this afternoon, right around five miles per hour. Dew point temperatures dropping through the afternoon, mid to upper 60s. And so the range, not as oppressive again as last week, still Pretty uncomfortable, but not again as the way it will be as we head into the weekend. Radar showing some light showers still primarily along the coast, but we're seeing this coverage decrease and we'll continue with that throughout the morning. The stationary front will begin to pull away while high pressure builds in from the north. We'll be watching the forecast, of course, tomorrow. We're changing it up. We're looking at scattered rain and storms to move in by this afternoon, though still cloudy and mainly dry conditions, maybe a spotty shower. Notice this moisture building in from the Gulf as a result of that high pressure sliding to our east and so rain chances scattered tomorrow afternoon right around 40 to 50 percent moving into Thursday morning commute time still a chance for some showers and storms some of that locally heavy at times and through the afternoon we'll wind down those rain chances into the evening hours. Here's that forecast setting up for the tropics. Hurricane Dora out here around Mexico and pulling west northwest. We won't have any impacts on land with that system. We'll be watching a wave moving off the coast of Africa tomorrow. And right now, the National Hurricane Center giving that five day odds of 20% to develop. Not seeing too much that's impressing me right now on the forecast as we look at the model. So lots of time to watch that little feature there. Here's a seven day forecast, and uh, we'll be watching these temperatures slowly climb into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, rain chances down to around 20% with temperatures lower 90s as we kick off the month of July. That's your forecast.